It's Stephen Rozart with Caldwell Banker West, so excited launching our new Community Spotlight Series with iHeart East County. And here we are with Nicole Roberts, the Executive Director of the Mount Helix Park Foundation. She's here to tell you a little bit about the Mount Helix Park and its true asset it is to our East County community. Just to start out with the history, the idea for Mount Helix Park actually began in the early 1900s. Uh, a brother and sister wanted to build a special place for their mother who loved to come out to Mount Helix Park for the inspiring views and, uh, and hike up to the top of the park. So they were actually really good friends with Colonel Fletcher and his wife Mary Fletcher. And they asked the Fletchers if they would sell the property so they could build this beautiful place for their mother. The Fletchers, from the kindness of their heart, said they would gift the property to the Yaki family. So what's the vision of the park as we stand here today, enjoying the beautiful scenery? Obviously there's a cross that's a memorial at the top, but what is the vision right now for the park that you carry out on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, this park is actually in a private trust. So the Yaki family put this park into a private trust with very specific instructions of how it should be maintained and be utilized. And so it's the Mount Helix Parks Foundation's mission to make sure that their wishes are fulfilled, that we follow their dreams and their wishes. And one of those is to make sure the park stays maintained and beautiful for people to enjoy free every day of the year. That's fantastic. Now, how does the foundation go about raising funds? I assume you're not getting public funds. No, we're not. Okay. We are a private foundation. We do not receive any government funding. We have a Friends of the Park membership program where the community can participate by becoming a friend of the park and paying an annual membership fee. We also um, coordinate an annual gala fundraiser here at the park. Really? Called the Heart of Mount Helix. And we just finished our 11th annual event. This event raises about $100,000 every year for the foundation. That's amazing. And that is because of the community coming together, buying tickets, buying auction items, and just enjoying themselves while helping support uh, Mount Helix Park. Also, what, can, what else in the community can they do for you here at the park to help uh, promote and sustain the park on an annual basis? Well, there's lots of ways that people can help get involved with Mount Helix Park Foundation, um, besides just becoming an annual member. Um, we have a lot of volunteer opportunities for people here at the park. We actually have a program called the Adopt-A-Plot program, oh. where people or groups, they can come together and they can adopt areas of the park to help us maintain the natural habitat here. So they can come in on their own time, they're trained with what types of weeds might need to be eradicated at that time of year. They can help us with plantings, but basically they have their own special area that they can just come when they want on their own time to help us maintain it. How exciting. Well, just to let you all know, we'll put all the links below so that you can become a member of the park and also all the links that we can get in contact with the foundation and Nicole's office to make sure that if you have any capability or any type of community outreach that you're willing to do right here at the park, we'd love your help. This is Steve Rotes, our Caldwell Banker West, and hey, iHeart East County.